One person who works very hard to make Lexington and Central Kentucky special is Mayor Jim Gray. We enjoy working with Mayor Gray and, of course, Kevin Atkins and many others in the mayor's, on the mayor's staff as we seek to recruit new business to the area and help existing companies expand. Please help me welcome the Honorable Mayor Jim Gray to the stage to make a few remarks. Mayor. Well, Laura already said it, but I'm going to say it one more time. Let's give Bob Quick a big hand, and doesn't he, isn't he doing great, Bob? We love you, man. Um, first things first, let's also thank this remarkable staff that is serving us tonight. Let's give them a hand. I want to, now Bob is going to recognize all the elected officials here tonight, but it's special for me to be able to recognize our city council. So will you all please join me in recognizing our council members. Thanks, guys. And thanks to everyone here tonight. You really are our leaders. You have seen the potential of our city. You have always believed in Lexington, and you are investing to make our future brighter. You've helped us overcome challenges and come out ahead. When good people work together, anything, anything is possible in Lexington. Anything is possible, like being recognized in 2016 as the sixth best managed city in the country, and again in 2017, as the fifth best managed city in the country. Anything is possible, like being named one of the top 100 best places to live in the country. Anything is possible, like being one of the nation's top 10 tourist destinations. And anything is possible, and I don't want to leave this one out, like being a great place to eat Lexington, in fact, has been named one of the 30 most exciting food cities in America. So, yep, Lexington is the place to be. And there's more to come. We're getting things done. The historic courthouse downtown will be open soon. We'll be breaking ground on Town Branch Commons and a new convention center that will produce jobs and attract new visitors. We've had surpluses every year since 2011, and today, one of the lowest jobless rates in the country. So there's a lot to be thankful for. 20,000 new jobs in Fayette County since the recession. More people employed now than any time, of course, in our history. And these are good paying jobs. Average pay has increased by more than 5%. I want to take just a minute to talk about steps that we've taken to keep our city moving forward, to make Lexington more competitive. Partnering with the University of Kentucky, we've created an agreement to open up 250 acres near the interstate to business development, putting Lexington in a premier position to attract good-paying manufacturing jobs. A big deal. <clears throat> now, of course, there's more work to do. Thanks to UK President Eli Capilouto, to Eric Mundy, and to our council members, we all know that when UK and Lexington work together, everyone moves forward. And two, with Metronet coming to town, we are gaining a real competitive advantage. Lexington will in fact be the nation's largest gigabit city with some of the fastest internet speeds in the world. Since we made the Metronet announcement in November, I have to confess that I've had people walk up to me on the street and say things like, Mayor, really like that fast internet. In fact, I've had two fellas walk, driving down Main Street who roll down their windows to say, go with that fast internet. So people like that. Well, why is it? Well, we all know that high-speed internet today is the fuel our university city needs to to serve expanding technology jobs and advanced industries. It will create more opportunities 
for better jobs. Now, in closing, I want to say again, thanks to all of you for all you do, and especially for believing, for believing in Lexington, where the future, where tomorrow is really wide open. And it's here for all of us to create together. Thank you all so much. Bob.